Hello everyone and good day. Um, hope you're coming back to watch more of my videos. If you're new, thanks for watching. Um, sorry my video schedule's been a little off, been busy. A lot of things going, around, going on around the house. Um, but I'm going to be back on schedule soon with these videos and we'll be back to our weekly on schedule video. Today I bring to you the 164th Ertl Authentics number no. 3 Steiger 450, Case IH Steiger 450, um, along with the Chase version that you see in the background. Today I'll be going over my thoughts and opinions on the tractor. I'll give you some of the specs of the real life tractor, you know, tell you about the real life tractor with kind of horsepower and different things about it. Um, and I will also go over the chase version. Um, I unfortunately, I, I don't know, unfortunately for you will not be removing it from the package as it is kind of a sought after and expensive toy. I don't want to, uh, removing it from the box is one thing. Removing it from the packaging is another. Um, I really don't want to do that since it is a limited number of production and everything, but so let's get started. Um, for starters, this uh, tractor is made by Case IH. It's a Steiger 450, and as the model number 450 denotes, the amount of engine horsepower it has has 450 engine horsepower, and it's a 14.9 liter six-cylinder Cummins engine. Uh, has a 300 gallon fuel tank, and they were made uh, starting made year of 2002 to I believe 2005. Um, and they are, seem to be a pretty popular tractor. I see them everywhere. Usually that runs a case IH, um, farming outfit, common tractor to see. Now let's get to talking about the toy itself. Like I said, this is an Ertl Authentics number three. The Authentics is a very detailed version of their toy. And these can be kind of pricey. I know I've had this one now for a handful of years, um, just about ever since it came out, I think I got it, and I recently just acquired the uh, Chase version for a fair price. Um, these are rising in value as time goes on. I know that the regular versions in mint condition are 65 to $80. And the Chase versions, I've seen anywhere from $80 up to $150. So, they can be pricey. But if you are wanting to go with lifelike detail on your toy farm. Or have something with a lot of detail in your toy tractor collection. These are great to have. Uh, for example, you have a working three-point hitch here with your third link that comes up and down. And you have your flasher bar with your slow moving vehicle sign there. So you can see the detailed lights on the back and uh, some fairly realistic tires here. Uh, here you got your draw bar hitch with an offset hitch on the side. And here is your fuel tank and you see uh, the detail like on your grab bars here. Uh, something that's neat about these. Let's see if I can do this. Um... Hopefully I can do this. There it goes. Something neat about these is the door actually does open to the cab. And you get a fair bit amount of incredible detail there. You can see the, the monitor there and your controls. Uh, the steering wheel and the dash. Um, let's see if we can see stuff through here. There's more of that monitor. And your different controls there on the side. Um, here you have your GPS. And you have your beacon here. Uh, got some lights here and here. Um, this one, um, it's missing the mirrors. The mirrors are in the original box that this was in, which I have packed away. Um, I didn't want to take a chance on losing them, having this displayed in my collection. Which is why it's a little dusty. 
um, and something else that's neat you get these uh, full detailed weights here and here and then you get to open up your hood here and you have there's your look at that 14.9 liter six cylinder Cummins there You can see the radiator and the intercoolers and different things and whatnot. And then you got your detailing here on the steps, which is great to see. And you got your grab handles there, there, and there. Um, this one has, I believe they call it like a tow cable. For like if you get stuck or someone's stuck, it'll pull them out. But this one even has the detail of that that runs beneath it. Um, here you can see like what would be like your um, hydraulic actuators or something, you know. Uh, I believe that's what they, they call them. Uh, and then you got your intake here and your exhaust. These are just incredibly detailed tractors. I know that it's something really neat. My one complaint is I wish that it had a different hitch on it. I don't know what some people are doing to be able to hook up uh, implements and different things to these um, on their model uh, model toy farms. Um, but they there are people modifying these to do that, and I don't know exactly how they're doing it. But this one is a display tractor. It just sets on my display shelves and stuff and I don't really touch it or anything haven't touched it in a long time um, and whenever I got the chase version I thought it would be a great one to talk to you guys about and uh, show you the different things and whatnot so let's take a look here at the chase version now the chase version they do um, usually it's like one out of every couple of cases of toys they'll throw one of these in there or there'll be a numbered amount that they'll put in a case you know so it's not something that you just automatically get so that means you know the production numbers on these are pretty low um, this one I have actually I had never really seen one in real life I'd always just seen them on the internet and stuff and uh, didn't really care much for them at the time, but whenever I came across this and it was a deal and scooped it up and whenever I got it in the mail, it I actually really liked it. it uh, it's pretty neat looking with that gold kind of paint, bronze paint. Um, I don't know what exactly, I know it, it's gold, but it's more of like a, a bronze or a brass color kind of to the paint. And then especially like with the red interior, um, let's see if we can take this out here. We might be able to, nah, I don't want to do that. Um, with the red interior and all the gold, it makes it really stand out. And like on the regular version, you got your details on your grab bars and your grab handles and stuff. Uh, this one has the mirrors attached to it here and here. That fold in and out. And just the detail on these are great. Um, I know some people that really collect a lot of these chase tractors. And if you're looking for chase tractors, you kind of want to grab them as soon as they come out. Because the market seems that after they come out, they just skyrocket in price. Um, now, most do. And some of them can be several hundred dollars. And if you're six, one sixteenth scale, they get in the thousands of dollars. And they're just fantastic looking tractors whenever they're all gold and silver plated. Uh, this one, like I said, I have really grown to like. Um, I have other Chase version tractors that are a little different than this. But this one I have grown to like. Um just neat how it all kind of pops and works together and whatnot so but that is what I can add for you today for these tractors 
Um, I hope that you'll continue watching the series as I make them. I'm trying to get caught up these past couple of weeks. I've been pretty busy, so... Um, I hope that you just continue watching. The lighting is something I'm working on. I'm eventually going to get better lighting. I'm going to get um, different things to help your viewing experience be a little bit better. And help me become uh, better at reviewing these toys for you. So thank you for watching. Come back, see me again, and I'll see you guys soon.